A young girl's life has been cut tragically short in a shocking act of violence. I mean, how did a routine evening turn into a nightmare? We'll be talking about this particular heartbreaking story in this video. So please do all to stay glued and do watch the video till the very end. What well, in a heartbreaking incident that has captured the attention of the nation, 11-year-old Zara Ramsami was killed in a senseless act of violence at a fast food parking lot in Malvern. The tragedy occurred on a Wednesday evening when hijackers, in a desperate bid to escape, ran over Zara as she hid under the vehicle. This video delves into the tragic events, explores the impact on the community, and discusses the broader implications of such violent crimes. Believe me, South Africa has struggled with high rates of violent crime for years and hijacking incidents have become distressingly common. Despite numerous efforts to combat crime, such incidents continue to plague communities, leaving a trail of heartbreak and trauma. The incident involving Zara Ramsami is a stark reminder of the brutal reality faced by many South Africans. The rise in such violent crimes has raised questions about the effectiveness of current law enforcement strategies and the support systems in place for victims and their families. Guys, this is something that's making so many rounds and believe me, it's something that still has to be addressed very properly. The CCTV footage of the hijacking and subsequent death of Zara Ramsami has gone viral, stirring national outrage and grief. This video analysis will cover several key aspects. We are talking about the incident. What well, a detailed examination of the footage and police reports reveals the sequence of events leading to Zara's death. The hijackers, armed and desperate, attacked Zara's mother, causing her to hide under the vehicle, which ultimately led to the tragic accident. I mean, Zara was a beloved grade 5 student at the Penzance Primary School. Her untimely death has left a significant void in her school community and beyond. Well, we also explore the responses from her school, her family's grief, and the broader community's reaction to the tragedy. With no arrest made yet, the video will analyze the ongoing investigation led by the KwaZulu Natal Police. We are going to discuss the challenges faced by law enforcement in solving such cases and the measures being taken to catch those responsible. Believe me, these are things that are actually so disturbing. The incident also raises questions about the state of safety here in South Africa. I mean, reforms have to be done and they have to be done pretty fast. What are your thoughts on how law enforcement is handled in the country? I mean, how can communities come together to support families affected by violent crimes like this particular one? What preventive measures do you believe should be implemented to tackle the rise in hijacking incidents? Again, how has this tragic event affected your view on safety and crime here in South Africa? Last but not the least, what steps do you think need to be taken to address the broader issue of violent crime in our communities? I mean, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to stay updated on this case and other important news stories. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section of course. Do leave your condolence wishes for this little lady just down in the comment section. May her beautiful soul get to rest perfectly well with the Lord.